What is the crack, everybody? My name is Jagged Potato, and last week I purchased The Last of Us on the PlayStation 3. That game is really good. If I had the component cable of the PlayStation 3, I would quite happily make a review of that game because it is pretty good. If you have a PlayStation 3, go out and buy it because it is just exceptional. And while playing the game, I kind of started thinking, what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? A while ago I pitched that idea to Judgment Awaits because on his channel it says Zombie Hunter. So what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? What is my zombie plan? So this video is me pretty much talking about my zombie plan. My zombie plan pretty much is get a lot of food, get a gun and go down to one of my sheds on the farm, build a little shack on top of the shed and pretty much live out the rest of my days on top of a shed. I, I really think it could work. Depends what type of zombie you believe in though. Do you believe the zombie is a slow brainless type of one or do you believe the zombie is like you know the runner type from various movies like the World War Z. You see them like running through the streets and clambering up on top of each other and so it's really depending on what you think a zombie might be but my zombie plan is to go down on top of a shed, get food, go out hunting and stuff with the gun for supplies or for material, whatever, and just hopefully live out the rest of my days there until somebody comes and finds me or shoots me. But if I somehow manage to get survivors, if I was bitten, I would probably want to be shot because I would not want to become one of them things in any way whatsoever. The second part of this commentary, which I hope takes a wee while longer, is The Last of Us has kind of pitched another idea to me. How would we survive? The Last of Us kind of puts the idea forward that once an apocalypse happens, man struggles to survive. Murder is rampant, thievery, just whatever to do to survive. As a Christian, I started thinking, you know, what would happen? Christians believe not to steal and not to kill and whatnot. And whenever you watch those types of films, apocalypse films, not zombie films, but just apocalypse films in general, when you watch them, it becomes kind of obvious that if they do, if the world turns out the way that the films portray, being the nice guy doesn't really get you that far. You know, if someone came up and was going to murder you to take your stuff, what would you do? Would it be right for Christians to fight back and possibly kill and steal to survive? If you watch the, the film The Book of Eli, that guy is a Christian. He learnt the Bible off by heart, he prays. He is actually a Christian, but he does what he needs to do to survive. So, would there ever be a point that having to kill and having to steal would become needed and would become accepted by everybody? Because that is, and by everybody I mean Christians, because that is what we need to do to survive. I feel that if I had to, if my life was in danger, you would have to kill somebody. If I was in the zombie, not a zombie apocalypse, but if I was in the apocalypse now and somebody came up to me and I was a wee bit hardened and stuff about life, you know, you would do what you had to, to keep yourself living. And if what that required was to take someone else's life, then sure, is that a bad thing? I really have never heard anyone discuss this topic or discuss this matter in any sort of depth because we don't know what could happen to us if an, an apocalypse of any sort happened whether a giant EMP went off and cut out all electricity in the world you would have to do what it took to survive and the question is then what is needed to survive could we survive by li still living off the rules of the Bible? Would you be the type of person to just sit idly by in your house and live in the Last of Us case of food rations while the world around you was crumbling down and the police was ordering curfews and stuff? How would you feel you would cope with that situation? Would you refer to the Bible to keep you right with your life or would you, as I say, do what you need to survive? It's a very good question. You know, I've never heard anyone really talk about it in depth before and it'd be really good to hear some, you know, proper commentary on it but I think it's really one of these things that you can't really answer until the situation happens. It's one of these hypothetical things that people would put towards you and you don't really know how to answer at the time because you know in your heart that the answer might not be the same as the situation might require. A popular one at the minute is, would you, if someone held a gun to your head and told you to renounce the Bible, what would you do? A lot of people would answer one or the other, you know, obviously they would answer one or the other, but I mean Christian-wise, someone would say, 
oh, I would do it. I would, you know, I would die before I would renounce God. But then some people would also say, including myself, is that you really don't know what you would do. You don't know what your body or what your mind would force you to do because the human nature requires us to survive. It'll do everything in its power to come out of a situation alive. It's that whole fight or flight nature of humans, really. Everyone has this thing that, regardless or not, evolution, creationism, whatever, is there. It's a natural instinct for us. So at the end of the day, you don't really know what your body would require you or force you to do in any situation. So I really think that this is a really cool subject and I would love everyone's opinion, like, in below. And I actually would ask some people, I'm going to tag some people to tell me their zombie plan and also give me a bit of thought on this topic because, like, hearing so many people's ideas about this would be brilliant. I think it's a really good one to kind of get a discussion going about in some way or another, either in the comments section below or make your own response video, like... Me, Judgment and Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter? Butterbean. Who the frig? Butterbean, you should change your name to Peanut Butter now. Me, Judgment and Butterbean. Done for the five awkward facts. I'm challenging you to do your own zombie plan video. I want to hear everyone's zombie plan, but I also want to hear your thoughts and opinions on what you do or what you feel that a Christian would do in a zombie apocalypse. Anyway guys, I am looking forward to hearing any responses or any topics in the discussion below. If you liked the video, click the like button below. If you like me and you want to hear more of my stuff or want to see more of my videos, click the little Jack of Potato guy up in the top corner somewhere. He's up there, he moves about. But as always, my name is Jack of Potato, I am a Christian, and I will see you all next time.